This is JR, the TextPad on the go. Today's topic is gear that I bought that I really don't use. In a video about a week ago, I gave you the three things that I bought that I really like for making my YouTube content. I gave you a first place, a second place, and an honorable mention. Well, today we're gonna talk about things that I bought that I've never used. When we moved from Saigon to Subic Philippines, I had a chance to go through my gear as I was putting it up in the closet here. I saw a lot of things in there that I don't use much, that's for sure. Of course, when I first started making YouTube videos, I really didn't have any idea what I needed. And so I bought a lot of things that turned out uh, not to be a really useful item. Here's the things that I absolutely shouldn't have bought and I don't use them. And today, I'm going to share that with you. Well, first place in my things I shouldn't have bought list was probably my shotgun microphone. I bought a shotgun mic because everywhere on YouTube it said that's what you need for recording good audio outside. Well, it turned out we're in Ho Chi Minh City and it's really noisy. And a shotgun microphone seemed just like a very good choice. I should have bought one. And I did buy one. A lot of videos I've made, I've talked about how loud Ho Chi Minh City is, how noisy it is. And so we thought a shotgun microphone would really be the thing to have. Well, we kind of overlooked one thing, is that you have to boom that microphone. And the only people shooting were me and Rhea. Well, that kind of leaves the boom mic out of the picture. So first place of things I shouldn't have bought was that shotgun microphone. When we bought the shotgun mic, we also bought a mic boom pole. Well, the boom pole actually has turned out to be pretty useful. We've used it as a uh, way to make drone shots, fake drone shots, using our pocket Osmo and that boom pole. I made a video on that. I'll put a link to it in the description below. We took the Osmo out on our street to try to simulate a drone shot and also a follow shot. I think we did pretty good for our first try. Okay, well number two on the list is probably my big gimbal kit. I bought a Feiyutech A2000 gimbal, a really big one, and it's a great gimbal. I've really enjoyed using it, and I wish I used it more, but I really didn't use it enough to justify the cost. So number two, second place on my list is going to be the Feiyutech A2000 gimbal set. In third place, and fourth place are lenses. Lenses I just uh, have not used. I've got a 28 to 70 zoom and a 55 to 210 zoom that I bought. Both of them are kind of like kit lenses. They're not, they're not the real top of the line G Master lenses or even a G lens. So um, they're not absolutely the best that Sony has to offer. Well, I've used them very rarely because most of the things I shoot, I'm fairly close up on. I use wide angle lenses more than anything else. And I haven't used either one of those lenses. Uh, the telephoto, <laughs> it's for somebody that's shooting birds or something. It's definitely not for me. And the other lens, I have duplicated uh, focal lengths with other lenses. And so I use the other lenses. I'd say that uh, those two are my third and fourth place of gear that I probably shouldn't have bought. But they were cheap. This is JR, the TextPat on the go, saying, hey, don't buy stuff you don't need. Think about it first. I wish I had. Thank y'all for watching.